In this video, I'm going to show you how I cut my dovetail neck joint using my CNC machine. I have a Legacy Maverick 3x5. It has a very unique feature that gives me the opportunity to do some pretty amazing things that most machines aren't capable of. I've built a fixture that mounts to the vertical vise. It holds the body and allows me to cut the dovetail. The machine is designed so that the gantry travels seven extra inches past the end of the table. So let's take an in-depth look at the fixture, then we'll show it in action. The back plate gets mounted to the vertical vise. There are several sets of threaded inserts so that I can use different wings for different body sizes. The wings are also reversible. I can flip them over, put in the body upside down, and do an inlay on the end graft. Stick around to the end of the video to see a really cool end graft I did. The vertical vise only goes to 90 degrees, or vertical. I created a five degree wedge so that when I mount this onto the vertical vise, it actually gives me the ability to go past zero. I'll mount the back plate to the vertical vise and then I can install the wings. The slots in the wings give me just enough movement to fit the body in and clamp it tight. Now I can secure the body with the clamping bar. With everything aligned on top and bottom, I can now set the angle using a digital angle finder. I need the top of the guitar to be level to the machine. I can eliminate any chance of tear out by drilling two holes in the face of the guitar. Then the same quarter inch bit will remove most of the bulk of the material. With a quick tool change, I'm ready to cut the final dovetail shape. Even with taking three passes, this part's a little bit nerve wracking. Now that the dovetail pocket is done in the body, it's time to move on to the neck. The fixture is self-centering by way of using the truss rod channel for alignment. Although the neck blank was already cut to the one degree back set, I still need to make it level with the bed of the machine. I use a lot of pre-saved offsets. They're like addresses that tell my machine where to start from. With the holes cut to prevent tear out, I'm ready to start milling away at the end of this neck. Then one more tool change to cut the final dovetail shape. This part's a bit loud and nerve wracking as well. With the dovetail neck joint now cut, I'll go ahead and rough cut the shape of the neck. I still have a little bit of fine tuning to do in order to make the neck joint just fit perfectly. But remember that end graph that we were talking about earlier in the video? Well, here it is. Uh -huh. 
If you like this video, I hope you'll consider subscribing, hitting the like button, or anything else that'll help me to grow my channel. Thank you for watching.